If you've been following the news at all, there is one image that you will probably associate with Bitcoin. And that is a huge boom over the last couple of months in its price and then a following correction. Now, today is a good time to take a step back and ask what exactly is Bitcoin? What is it good for? And what might be its future? So you've probably heard this Bitcoin wants to be a decentralized digital currency. But what does that really mean? A currency should fulfill three functions. It should be a medium of exchange. A store of value. And a unit of account. Typically, currencies are issued and controlled by states and governments. Bitcoin wants to be different. Being digital means that coins just live on a computer. There's no more need for physical coins or notes. Being decentralized means that there's no central authority that is in control of the currency. Now, it turns out that coming up with a decentralized digital currency that works is actually not that easy. And the problem is that because coins are just virtual, they live on a computer, they can be easily copied, just like files on your computer can be copied. Now, however, I shouldn't be able to use a copy of the coin that I've spent on breakfast on lunch. These digital coins should behave just like real coins. When I spend them, they're gone. They're out of my control. What we need is a place where we record the ownership of each coin at every point in time. That place is called a ledger. Now, a ledger can be centralized. For example, your bank has a ledger of all of its clients' accounts, and these clients trust that the bank will not manipulate the ledger to steal from them. Now, the creators of Bitcoin wanted a technological solution that would work without a trusted central authority. The solution was to decentralize the ledger. So, take a group of people, call them miners, and give each of these miners a copy of the ledger. Then when I want to go and use Bitcoin to buy a ticket for a concert, every miner checks on their local copy of the ledger whether I do indeed own the coins that I'm trying to spend. If they end up agreeing that I own these coins, the transaction is added to the ledger and I get my tickets. In reality, things are a bit more complicated than this. For example, the ledger is stored on a particular data structure that's called the blockchain that allows miners to verify very easily whether or not the ledger has been tampered with. Users prove to miners that they own the coins that they're trying to spend using cryptographic signatures that allow them to conceal their real identities. And then miners receive rewards for maintaining the ledger that are designed such that it's in their best interest not to manipulate the ledger. Now, that sounds all pretty great, but how does Bitcoin do with respect to the three functions that a currency should fulfill? For many listed activities, Bitcoin is the preferred medium of exchange because users can hide their real identities. Just think ransomware, for example. Outside of this space, Bitcoin is rarely used as a medium of exchange. Bitcoin is also a pretty poor store of value. That is due to the large volatility in its exchange rate over the last couple of years. Some Bitcoins that might have been exchanged for pizza a few years ago might now be worth millions of dollars. That sounds great at first, but it's actually not what you want from a currency. For Bitcoin to be a good store of value, its price should be stable and predictable. And lastly, Bitcoin is also not a very good unit of account. That is again to blame on its exchange rate volatility. It would be pretty inconvenient for a seller of tickets to denominate the tickets in Bitcoin if one day the price of Bitcoin would be 8,000 US dollars and the next day it could be 9,000 US dollars. How does all of this relate back to the huge boom that we've seen in the price of Bitcoin over the last couple of months? One factor is that nobody really knows how to value Bitcoin. What is its fundamental value? Another important factor is probably that during the run-up of the Bitcoin price. Many people bought Bitcoin hoping to capture future gains 
and wishing to sell before the price collapses. So at this point, the future of Bitcoin is pretty unclear. So far, at least, it seems like it's used primarily for illicit activities or as a speculative asset. However, no matter Bitcoin's future as a currency, its conceptual legacy as a decentralized digital currency is here to stay. Thanks for watching.